control for flashlights, movement, WASD, pills, X. Alright, uh. Alright. Warning. This game contains lots of flashing lights, loud noises, non graphic bloodshed, mild language, references to, to DS, and of course, lots of staring eyes. It is recommended to properly adjust your volume for a better experience. No worries, I know what I'm doing here. I played a lot of FNAF fan games literally ever since FNAF came out. What is going on? Why is it just. Oh! Okay. A Hennens More game. It looks like we got a uh, cutscene before going to the main menu. The fuck is that? Programmed by Steels. Jeez, that looks like a fucking monster that you'd see in the in the middle of the fucking night. And Sunken Studios. Pretty cool stuff. Won't lie. Although these, ugh, I I don't know, man. Like having human having kids this close to human animatronics is kind of creepy. Like I I don't think it's safe to have them close, but how are we gonna have to? Oh shit! What's happening? Why are they crying? What's going on? What the fuck is happening? Did trapped? Are they trapped or kicked out? What the fuck happened? I guess trapped. I'm gonna assume. What is what? What is that? What the fuck is that, man? Oh, that's a person. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, two people. Okay, what, what, what are we, uh, what is this place? Is this the place we're going to be working at? So that is, I mean, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. Is that it? Seems to be it. Yeah, that's, that seems to be it for the opening cutscene. Together again, Lake's Funland Story. Ah, yes, I've been waiting to play this for a while. And now we're officially here, right? Yeah, okay. Subtitles, need that shit on. And censorship. No, fuck you. <laughs> nah, I'm having that shit on because guess what? This ain't a damn childhood friendly game. This is a literal fucking game where you are allowed to do anything. And this, I am not child friendly, so I am putting this shit on whether you like it or not. Thank God it actually has my resolution at 1440p the way it should be. It's like I can just start a new game. Oh fuck. Six nights, man. Fuck. Oh well, it is what it is. 1968. Am I controlling this? Magwood, we're waiting for you in the board of directors. There get there in ten minutes, please. Do I press enter? Yeah, yeah, I know. Just give me a minute to get myself together. Um right. This is great. Absolutely great. I helped them grow this company and now they're getting me fired. How nice of them. Um, don't know the whole story, so I guess I'm just gonna say what it is. I should have known those pigs would cash me out at the first sign of trouble. Well, there goes my luck. I better practice what to tell Josephine when I get home. Ah shit, if only there was a stupid solution, but I'm afraid not even God can help me this time. Oh friend, it won't. But I can help you. Oh, what the fuck? Who said that? Who's there? Oh, what? Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh my god, that sound is creepy. I can't believe my eyes. It's Oscar Magwood himself, town's most acc acclaimed robotics genius. What appears to be the problem? Well, what the? What the hell are you? Where the hell am I? Don't get closer! Ha <laughs> ha, calm down, big man. I'm not going to hurt you. I heard your call, and so. Here I am. I could feel your dis desperation, and I thought that you'd need a huge favor in time of trouble. Well, it's your lucky day again. I'm all ears. What the heck are you supposed to be? Please, don't mind that. Listen, I know you. I know how hard you've worked for this company for the last 10 years. Those out there, those are your creations. You made them, they belong to you. And suddenly, things didn't march as planned. 
from neither of you. Now, they want to believe you you're responsible for their failure. They know their efforts bore no fruitations and that bothers them so much. So they decided to blame it on you. That doesn't seem right to me. I'm not gonna say much. Yeah, go on. I'm here to offer you a great deal. Probably some sketchy ass deal. A deal? What deal? Let's do this. I'll provide you success, fortune, power, influence, st stability, everything. I can make you a wealthy man, powerful, all that in exchange for one little thing. That little thing is a bad thing. Let's just say that. I'm going to assume it's a bad. What is it? The price is to pay would be your son. But I listen. It's not what you think. Trust me. I won't hurt the kid. I won't take his soul. Let's just say I'll take something from him one day. I knew that'd be something bad, man. What? No, 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 listen to me. You're not doing anything to the kid. You understand? I might be desperate, but not enough to put in danger a family member, much less a kid. Magwood, trust me, no one's going to get hurt. That is the last thing I would do, you hear? You can take this right now and let whatever must happen to your son, it could be a life lesson. You don't know that, and I. it doesn't have to be now. I still don't think it's a good idea to put a family member, especially a child, in harm's way. Uh, I, I, I don't know. All I'm saying is that the price is to pay is the boy. What did the kid do? Even then, if you don't accept, you could lose him anyway, or your entire family if they can't count on a man that can take good care of them. They'll leave you behind. Think about it carefully. You can leave right now without a job running the risk of losing your family, spending the next months trying to get a job to make a living, or you can leave this building with a bright future ahead, millions and millions of dollars could be waiting for you in the future. I'm a man of my word, so what's it going to be? What a shitty ass deal, man. The fuck? Like, why are we putting children in fucking danger here? Greetings. This is Ashley J. Water speaking. Introducing you to my investigation thesis project for Mrs. Pilvin's class. For this special conclusive project, three children missing, fate still unknown. My dedication, my concentration, and all of my energy into one particular case. Could it be controversial? Yes. Delicate, of course. Tragic, unfortunately. But overall, this is one of the most Quebec's largest English weekly newspaper. Of in the Dude, that actually looks years, legit. Like that picture, it looks very 90s feeling. On Even older. 11th, 1990, Martin Calcott, Joshua Felwick, and Wendy Gribble disappeared at night under mysterious circumstances after they had left their homes without prior notice. The three of them, presumably at the same hour, headed to unknown whereabouts, never to be seen again. And despite this being a case with hardly any information on it and with so much room for conjecture and rumors, I, Ashley Waters, compromise to do everything that is in my power to unveil the secret behind their disappearances, one way or the other. Over and out. All right, um, all right, um, wow, um, I don't know if we should be doing this, like, you know, investigating this, but I guess that's our job. Oh, we're actually playing this. First and I on the job. Oh, okay, we're necessary press X to fill. Mess, but it feels like a nice place to work. Is it really that dirty? So message. Well, nice. the desk does at least. Hey, I'm not gonna mute it. By the way, I'm just gonna let it play. Uh, oh, hello. Hey. Hello, hello. Hi. Hey, how's my favorite security guard doing, huh? <laughs> not doing great. So, are you excited for your first day, Ashley? Not if you are. <laughs> just kidding. You know, I feel quite enthusiastic about you working here, so, uh, I'll be recording some tapes for you, you know, to help you get through your first week. And, uh, well, some company wouldn't be so bad, right? I'll tell you, it gets a little stressful. But, hey, you'll do fine, I promise. So, uh... You sure about that? The security crew is provided with a CCTV monitor that allows you to watch every single room in the location through the cameras, except for those in restricted areas like the lobby or maintenance rooms. You can monitor the whole location without leaving your office. Yeah, cool, right? 
Let yeah, you very fucking cool. You don't have to wander around in the middle of the dark with a flashlight. Speaking of which, each camera has a flashlight integrated. We just can't keep the place's lights on all night because that would be a huge waste of power. So, uh, use your flashlight to have a clear view, but always... Oh, okay, that, that shit turns that off. not fool around with it, please. It can run out of battery. Uh, yes, way, we're. I'm aware. There's a little battery on the top left. By pressing it, you can toggle the vent cams. I'm sure. Wait, what? Thinking it's weird that the Wait, what? 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 What do I press again? What? Oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So. Uh. Okay, so control. Okay, yeah. I gotta remember that. All right, toggle this again. God damn it. Listen, there's this other guard who takes the day shift. His name is Michael. You probably encountered him before starting your shift. Well, he used to work during the night before, but he complained about, uh, conditions, and, uh, he's not really the first one. I might be the next one. This other girl, too, but she chose to quit because one of the animatronics got into the office during her shift and tried to attack her. She left the building with a broken leg. We were really lucky she didn't sue us. She probably yeah, should have. Uh, but... Hey, I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but Michael said those machines have been a little twitchy lately. We moved him to the day shift because he complained a lot about them moving at night and trying to get into the office and acting aggressively. That honestly gives me the chills. You know, it I, does? I really? mean, they get proper maintenance every weekend. There's no reason for them to behave that way. So, I think the problem is that the animatronics are only programmed to work during the day and interact normally with the people and the children. And when the night falls and everyone has left, they think whoever is still inside the building must be an intruder. So they use their sensitivity to sound to try to locate you until they get into your office. Uh, I, I don't know, that's the best that comes to my mind. Uh, we had to come up with a quick solution, and we installed some speakers around the location and the ventilations. You know, just yeah, I, I on see them. button in a different room if one of them is getting close to your office, okay? That so spring trap rules. Oh, gotta go, sweetheart. Take care. By the way, I packed your pills in your bag, just in case you start feeling anxiety. But remember, no more than three pills, okay? Good. Sucks. I'll pick you up when your shift is over. Remember, 7 a.m. All right. Love you. Bye-bye. Wait, 7 a.m.? Oh, what? fuck, man. Did she just say about the animatronics? She said they move. All right, I've heard this one before. I guess it's a practical joke. <laughs> All right. It's not. Let's get serious. Sounds like my job isn't too hard, I hope. Um, first night's usually not that difficult. Huh. These look funny. Yeah, he looks. <laughs> What's this? I can't press it. No. Is that a figurine of mom? Oh, that's adorable. Fan. fan. Yeah, boy. Okay. We got the good old classic fan. We got this here, too. I don't know why that's here. Alright, uh. No one has moved here, right? Hopefully. Oh, uh. Alright, let's just, uh. I guess do nothing, I guess. But 7 a.m., this night ends at 7? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Like, I'm actually not kidding. That's, like, nah, man. 7 fucking a.m. Fuck that bullshit, man. But whatever, it is what it is, bro. Don't like the sounds that are playing, but that's just ambience, I guess. But that's how every FNAF fan game works out here. Uh, but I don't see anyone as of yet. Maybe they'll come out at this time here, but who knows? It's been relatively quiet. Why can I not press control? Oh yeah, there's already light here. Never mind. I'm stupid. I can only do it on the ones that don't have light. Oh, okay, uh... Alright. Okay, so that's how that shit works. Okay. Alright, I got it. So if he moves... You know, if he's like right here, like right here... Oh, oh shit! No, 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 no! Oh, fucking hell, man. I did not mean to press that. Okay. There. I'm gonna put him back. Yeah, there you go. So, use this to lure him to the certain camera. Alright, so that works as sprint trap. Although, maybe a little more easier, but I don't fucking know. Is he the only animatronic that moves in this night? Because, um, if there's others, that would suck. I'm not kidding when I say that, by the way. Alright, uh, yeah, get, get, get back here. Yeah, get, you, you stay there, okay? Don't, don't, don't bother. I'm gonna keep luring you there until the night ends. So far, no one has moved. Only this dude right here. The, everyone else is just sitting 
on their stage. Just doing nothing, so that's that's good. Oh no, you get back in here. Get back in this damn janitor room. Wait, it's getting darker, meaning that it's gonna officially at some point disappear. Oh boy, that's that ain't good. 6 a.m. I have to remember it ends at 7. Don't know why, but I guess that's just how the damn game works. Dude, that actually fucking scared me. What the fuck, you idiot! Holy hell. Nah, man, that's fucking crazy. First night done. Yeah, and done. That was surreal. It was, uh, yeah. Positively surreal. It was positively surreal. <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh. Well, I made it here. Now let's see what we can find. Yeah, let's 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 just let's, let's do some shit. Get information from people. I don't know if that's the right choice, but I guess that's just how it's gonna work here. Uh, good morning, I'm sorry for interrupting. My name is Ashley and I'm doing an investigation project for school about the three missing children from 1990. I was wondering if any of you two live nearby and if so, do you know anything about the case? So that, that in English, that type of class would say, but... Oh, the children. Yeah, I live in this side of town and one of my young neighbors used to be friends with Wendy Wendy Gribble and one of the missing kids. He once told me that the day she disappeared, her family took her to Lakes Funland earlier in the morning, and he recalls she looked excited for something the whole day, but that's all I know. I personally know nothing about the case because I don't live here, but Billy told me that the children left their homes at night to never be seen again. I assume they went out to play somewhere without permission and got kidnapped. Such as an, such an unfortunate event. Whatever happened to them, I hope they're still alive and return home safe one day. It's always best to have hope and be positive. That is true. But in a case like this, they've been missing for a very long time. I agree. Well, thanks so much. That will be useful. Anytime, young lady. Okay, thanks for the info. Uh, where else do we go here? Here? No? It's just, it's just fairly empty here. Nothing too spectacular, nothing too special. Oh, we got uh this guy here. Hello. Oh, I can't talk to him. Okay, so not every character you can speak to. And I can't go that way, so I'm going to have to go back. This reminds me a lot of the FNAF 4 minigames. Like, once you complete every night. Aside from, like, probably night 7 and 8. Yeah, like this is uh this is very familiar to FNAF 4. I really like the uh how it looks. Oh shit, what the fuck? Why can I not go anywhere, bro? What the fuck? Why is this like this, bro? Oh, uh oh I, I didn't know you can go you can go here. Okay. You can't go that way. What about here? Am I can I go here? Oh, uh there's a person here. If this person ends up scaring me, I'm gonna be so annoyed, bro. Uh let's just speak. Good morning there, excuse me, I'm doing an investigation project for school about the about the missing children from 1990. Yeah, I know everything about it. Oh shit. How did you know I was going to say that? Well, how would I not know? I know everything, but I'm afraid I can't tell you anything. Sketchy as shit. Wait, why not? Because then it wouldn't make sense. Something sketchy about Dunn card him saying that but what wouldn't make sense nothing excuse me Ashley I must go now oh okay uh weird wait a minute how does he know my name huh I see weird stuff happens in this town oh shit okay uh okay I can't go there that is strange I can't go there either what the fuck this game is built like FNAF. Well, this is a FNAF fan game. That's why it's built like FNAF. Ah, there we go. Okay, I can actually come here. There's probably someone just here. Hello, enjoying the shadow? Absolutely. It's so fresh here. How may I help you, pretty lady? Hey, well, I'm doing an investigation and would like to ask you a couple of questions. Hmm, I see. Playing the detective? Not really, it's probably for my final semester. Anyways, how safe do you think your hometown is? 
Safe? Well, I don't have any complaints about safety in this town or anything. The most I could say is that drivers are a bit clumsy sometimes. I see. Tell me, why would a child leave his own house in the middle of the night? What do you think a child could be looking for? I don't know if that's the question I should be asking, but... Huh, that's an interesting question. Why would a child leave his own house in the middle of the night? I don't know. How can a child leave his house in the middle of the night? They must be receiving some next level parenting. The only answer I can think of is... You know, perhaps the child just wants some extra time in the playground. You know how children are. Alright then. Well, that's all I needed. Thanks. So that's it. Okay, that's uh... That was strange. Is there anywhere else I have to go? Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> Alright, I, I don't know if I should bother them. But... I probably should, but... No, okay. I- I- okay! <laughs> I'm- I'm- okay! Alright, I'm Ashley Waters, high school student. If you could provide me some help for an investigation. Hey Ashley, nice to meet you. It's Mr. Cawthon you're talking to. How may I- how may I be of service to you? I'm always glad to help. Thank you, sir. I'm working on an investigation for school. It's about the three missing children case that happened four years ago, and I came here to interview people from the town and listen to what they know. Any comments you'd like to offer, sir? Oh dear, those poor little ones. Well, I'm a very open person and I've taken the time to know almost every person in this small town. I had the chance to know the parents of one of the kids, Martin, I think. Short after that he disappeared, I taught his family to give them my prayers and his father told me that the boy was at home that night. When the mother called him for dinner, Martin was just gone. That's insane. He was in what was supposed to be in the safest place he could have been at, and his father suspects he may have gone back to Lake's Funland. They went there that morning, and his brother recalls seeing Martin speaking with someone behind a door, and he acted a bit anxious for the rest of the day. That's all I was told. I hope it's useful information. Yeah, that's really good information. Alright, thank you so much, sir. Have a good day. You're welcome, Ashley. It was a pleasure. Take care. Okay, anything? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. There's a police here, man. Why is there police here? Is this uh, a bad thing, bro? I have no idea, but I feel like it's a bad thing. There was, there was, just, there, there was an arrow here. What do we have here? I want to know. Oh. Don't worry, sir. If I have a minute... For sure, lady. Tell me. My name is Ashley Waters. I studied at Royal Vale and I'm currently working on an investigation about the three missing children case from 1990 for my, uh... Yeah, I'm not- I'm, I'm too tired, bro. Really? Hey, that's great. I've been working a bit on the case as well, for a while at least. You see, I used to be a detective at the police department in town long ago, so you can imagine how much in, into cases like that. Perhaps I could partner with you and collaborate. What do you say? Wow, really? You'd be down to help? Absolutely! Here, let me write my number down on your notebook so we can keep in contact. Great, well thank you sir. No problem Ashley, you're going to need some help with this one. We're talking about a case with little to no information. So perhaps we could find more clues together and tie up loose ends. Definitely, well I'll see you then. Take care. By the way, it's Hill, Darren Hill, to serve you. That's it. Well, wow, that that lasted a long time. I'm gonna assume that that's the animatronics right. I'm gonna be dealing with for the night. Second night, and now I am not so excited anymore. Why would you? Right. Let's hope our shiny friend doesn't leave stage tonight. I wonder if Mom left a message. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's been it's it's, it's literally been on. It's literally been turned on. Okay. All right. Yeah, don't turn that shit off. We need that. We absolutely need this fucking phone hello, call here. Hello there, honey. Yay. See? I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. It's only one fucking night. Hey, it's only one fucking night. For you. We did a checking routine to the animatronics earlier this morning. You know, mere protocol thing. We don't really have anything special scheduled for this week. Ah, we really? We did tests and monitored each animatronics view, and we found something interesting that could be useful for you. Like what? Alex and John Kun, the coyote and the rabbit on stage 02, appear to have a particular flaw in common. 
It we'll flaw. looks like their vision glitches in the dark. The image goes all pixelated, so I think you can use that against them. I doubt you okay. can fool them with the speakers, so my suggestion is if fuck, they you can't ever fuck leave them and screw them. Office, oh my god. Just try shutting down the office's power with the switch on your desk. It's oh yeah, I did that a few times in night one. Systems rebooting is another possibility. By the way, now that we're focusing on Stage 02, uh, last night I managed to set up the music tape in there to work properly, but yeah. I doubt I'll be able to do the same now. Listen, yeah, it's literally check on right now. Every now and then and make sure it's playing, alright? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Or if it glitches, whatever, just rewind and then play it again, got it? Yeah. I to Michael and, uh, he said one of them would move if the tape remained stopped. I think oh. must be Alice. Oh, so you have to repeatedly play that shit. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh god, now you're telling me I have to deal with more of them? <laughs> yeah, fortunately. <laughs> Fuck. Sometimes that bigger paycheck may not be worth it. I'm just gonna say it right now. But I'm, I'm gonna have to replay this multiple fucking times of the night. Fuck that bullshit, bro. The sounds got fucking like creepier here. Something I don't like, but don't have much of a choice, do I? By the way, I don't need to use the light. I'll use it like later. Um. All right. Uh. Oh boy. 1 a.m. Nice. Oh boy. He still wants to sacrifice to pay for more paycheck. Uh. <laughs> I mean, look. Sometimes I just don't think it's worth it. You know, depending on the workplace. That's just my opinion, man. Oh shit, okay. Uh oh fuck. Gotta turn that on. This dude moves so fucking quick. Yo, can you bro bud, chill, chill. These two have the coyote and the rabbit haven't moved yet. That's good, but this dude here we play we moves too much. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, there he is. Alright, so I gotta remember, can't fucking fool that man. Okay, get back there. Okay, I gotta remember to play this because Alice gonna fucking move. Alright, uh. Okay, I gotta remember this dude cannot be fooled and I have to remember to turn off that damn light. Oh shit. Oh, okay. He went there. Good. Uh. Sure thing. Okay, get back in here. Yeah, get the fuck back in there. Oh shit. Oh shit! No! Fuck! Fuck! I fucked up! I fucked up! No, no. Okay. Get back over there. Oh my god, bro. No fucking way, man. Okay. Oh! 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 Oh the fuck, yo! Okay, uh. Gotta remember the pill. Holy shit, man. What the fuck? Dude. Holy shit. I could have fucked up there. Oh my god. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, fucking hell. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Oh, and... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I gotta re... I gotta make sure Alice doesn't move. Yeah, let's... Let's go. Uh, oh, shit. It's not working. Oh, I could have sworn this was working in the previous version, bro. Fuck. Now I have to worry about that. Fuck. Whatever, bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. And... Oh, they're both there. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, this isn't this isn't good, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to worry about this motherfucker right here. Yeah, get back here, bro. Yeah, get back over there, bro. Jesus, man, like what the fuck? Oh, I heard that. Where are you at, brother? Where are you at? Yeah, oh, you're right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure thing. All right. Fuck you, bro. Jesus Christ, like, what the fuck? Oh. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. That's that's good. Oh my god, bro. What the, what the, what the fuck? Oh. All right, uh... Sure thing. Uh, oh, shit. All right, uh... All right. Oh, shit. Uh... All right. Uh, yo. This is not cool. All right, uh... Yeah. Get back over there, okay? Wow! Fuck! Fuck you! 6 a.m. Can you please turn 7? Please turn 7 fucking a.m. So... Oh god. Okay, uh... Yeah. Okay, yeah. 
Oh god, oh god, ah! Whoa, shit! My fucking things. Oh my god. Yo. What the fuck, man? Holy shit, I'm not kidding. That, that was scary, man. I had to use two fucking pills already. My, my mouse, my cursor was moving. I don't know if you saw that, but man, that was fucking moving. Holy shit. Fucking scary, man. What the fuck? Ah! Fuck! She's looking right at me! Fuck! <laughs> fucking hell, man. I genuinely hate you, Alice. I hate you, Alice. Oh, no, thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God I got 2 a.m. done. Fuck that. Alright, folks. I'm done for today. My thing just cut off, bro. Fuck. Okay, what now? Ashley, welcome to my home. Huh, you arrived earlier than I expected. You must be very... Uh, whatever that word is about your project. Hey, I sure am. Thanks for taking your time to help me out, sir. Ah, uh, don't say it. It's always a pleasure to share some time with a fellow detective. <laughs> hey, I'll be with you in a moment, okay? Please come in and take a seat. Take a sit. My wife is making coffee. Oh, that sounds great. Thanks. Alright, uh, I can't move. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't remember it's WASD. I'm stupid. Alright, uh, what now? Do we just go here? I uh, guess, yes. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Hello, miss. How you doing? Good afternoon, madam. My name is Ashley. Ashley Waters. Oh, hi there. You must be the lady Darren told me would come. I heard he offered to help you with an investigation. I'm Elizabeth Hill. Nice to meet you, Ashley. The pleasure is mine. Feel free to take a seat. You're at home. Coffee will be ready in a few minutes. Excellent. I will wait. Okay. Alright, so I don't know why we have to keep going this way, but I guess that's just what it is. This must be the kid. Hey, hello. Uh, who are you? Oh, hi. My name is Ashley. Ashley J. Waters. Well, hello there, Ashley. My name is Jane. Is your middle name Jane too? What does that J stand for? Oh, it's actually Jillian. Ha, you got me excited for a second. Anyways, what are you doing here? You're not from college, are you? No, no, actually, I met your father at the local park. I want to interview him for an investigation project, and he ended up inviting me to team up with him. It turns out he's been working on the same case for a while now. Oh, I see. Yeah, my dad is a bit of a nerd when it comes to crime investigations and detective games. He used to be in a police detective when I was a child. Anyways, tell me more about you. What do you like? Well, I love reading and writing stories. My dad used to collect fantasy novels and comic books when he was young, and eventually he, his collection box ended up in my bedroom when I was little. So I began to read all those books and grew a passion for storytelling. I also love plushies, hugs, and I'm addicted to cranberry juice. Haha. <laughs> Lovely. Where are you from? The town is quite small and I've never seen you around before. Ah well. I was born in Labrador, but I have lived in Montreal my entire life. It's a nice place to live at. I have lots of wonderful memories. Been to Montreal like there like almost 10 years ago. It was really fun. Only for a day though. Really? Oh, I'd like to listen. Hey, well. Oh, so we're actually gonna speak. Oh, oh, okay. Alright. When I was small, my mother and I would spend the weekends with a friend of hers and his son, Harlan. We both became best friends after a while, and we used to play in the backyard for hours. We lived so many crazy adventures together. He was like that brother I never had, and it was so much fun. Oh, pretty nice backstory. Oh, that is absolutely adorable. Yeah, although... It's often heartbreaking thinking of Harlan and his dad. You see, he had a sister. She got kidnapped, never returned home. And then a few months later, his mother died in a horrible car crash. So while I think of the good times we spent together, it's hard to avoid thinking that mom and I were perhaps only com the only comfort they had. We were those two missing elements. We were like a family. Like a family. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Alright. Oh shit, okay. Oh no, late night three! Oh, Wednesday, surprise me. Yeah, let's be fucking surprised out here. It's cold in here. <laughs> fucking cold in here. <laughs> Oh man, that's that's gonna be a fun experience. Oh hey, yeah, you turned it fucking on for me. Thank you. Well, hello there, Ashy. How's everything going? Not I good. Everything 
is running like clockwork. It's your third night here. Phew. Um, well, everything's pretty- Oh. Oh! Okay, uh... Okay, instructions, uh... Collect as many carrots as possible. Avoid all, all costs collecting prohibited vegetables. Oh shit, okay, uh... What do I do? Press enter? Can I, like, mow, please? What, 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 what is this, bro? What do I do here, bro? It's not, like, doing anything. <laughs> what the fuck? There's, like, no enter. I can't, I'm pressing enter. Nothing's working. I'm pressing things. Like, literally spam clicking. Nothing. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh. Alright, care, 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 care. Okay, so I gotta be careful with all of the other stuff. Like, obviously, a damn, um... The damn, the damn other stuff. Ah, fuck! Fuck that shit, bro. Okay. Yeah, ah, get that shit! Okay, got it, got it. There. No, no! Fuck! Get that! Oh, shit! Okay, at least we got that. Don't worry, we got that. What am I trying to accomplish here, bro? Like, just catch carrots and just try to get fucking 10,000 here? Is this- is, is that literally the accomplishment- like, the fucking accomplishment here? I'm just sitting here for so damn long, bro. I'm just sitting here just catching carrots and nothing else, like... Am I supposed to be breaking an all-time record here? I know my high school- my high score is zero, but like, come on, bro, like, what the fuck? Uh, oh, no! Oh, fuck, I got- I forgot the carrot. Uh, but like, for real? This, uh, yeah, this is the actual game. It's just a minigame. Uh, for it. I'm surprised the score to beat was it 4,000 let alone 5,000. I don't know what the fuck to do, man. You don't have to stop playing to read. Yeah, no. But this game is just way too easy, but I'm just so bored and straight up just literally just, you know, I'm just I, I, I'm just bored. 10 points per carrot is crazy. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's one carrot, one carrot is 10 points, three carrots is three. It is 30 points, so yeah, I'm just literally... I don't, I don't know. This is an end, endless minigame, fool. Well, I'm still doing it anyway, because I'm... I don't know why. Yeah, ow. Ow. I'm just gonna end this, bro. Because I have 6,000. There. Oh, oh my god, bro. Because I've been doing this for too long. Press A to start again, bro? What the hell? Oh my. That is something to... That was have to definitely take a look at because having to wait that long is just not ideal for me. We came in. Do I have to do this again, bro? Because that, that would suck ass. All right, Wednesday, surprise me. It's literally still there. It's cold in here. Fuck, man. Everything's running like clockwork. It's your third night here. Phew. Um, well, everything's pretty boring during the day. Like I said, we don't have anything special scheduled for this week. There's no birthdays, no holidays, and, uh, there's barely any clients. As of today, the only clients we had were a family and a couple. Yeah, you can't imagine how bored I am here. But hey, lucky you, you have the whole location just for you. All night three is like night yeah, one and two, but you. three. I mean, I, I already had stress I enough for night know, two, especially know. when um, uh, Coyote and the rabbit came at me. For a while and, uh, play in the arcade zone for a few minutes. <laughs> you really are lucky to be the manager's daughter. Well, whatever. This morning I checked some old footage from the cameras. Michael showed me so I could tell you a few things. Hey, I'm really glad that boy is trying to help you. I didn't want to believe things were that bad for him, but... If he's really that worried about you, then I must say I was wrong. But it's just... unexplainable, you know? I saw Lake moving from one room to another in the recordings. What Michael did to push him back was kind of... curious. I could see him hiding in a dark spot, and then at one point he just stood up in the center of the room. And when Michael turned on the flashlight, Lake just ran away. I think he's okay. light, so if he tries to bother you, you can bother him with your mighty flashlight weapon. But be very, oh, very I didn't know that. because he's What the fuck? He's Why is the fuck is this thing turning off? You know? Alright, Ashy, that's all I had to say. Take care. Bye. Thanks. Thank oh, you. Well, 
it is. She says I can play a little, then breaks my piece, telling me another of these freaks moves too. Great way to lighten the mood, Mom. <laughs> Fuck hell. All right. Uh. All right. Uh. Let's just get this over with. Oh fucking no! Okay, uh, yeah, not good. Whoa, whoa, wait, yo! Oh, he's right there. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. Okay, uh, yeah, that. I did not know you go here, buddy. Okay, now you're there. Okay, I did not know you go there, but okay. All right. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck? Dude. Nah. Nah. <laughs> like, that reminds me of One Night of Funties 2. The exposure. Oh, shit. Alright. Uh, Yeah, let's rerun that thing. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, Alright, 2am. Alright. My heart's pounding like crazy already. Not that I want... Not I don't want it. But it is what it is, I guess. Oh, what the fuck? What? Oh. Alright, uh. Ah! Shit! Oh! 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 Shit! What the fuck? Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, okay. I got him there, okay. So that's how it works, okay. Wow, what. What the fuck? Huh? What was that sound? I don't know what that sound was, but. Oh, okay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? Yo. Oh, yeah. Gotta rewind that. Holy shit, man. Fucking hell. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's... Alright. Okay. That's how it's gonna work out here? Okay. Alright. Ah, fuck! Oh my god, bro. What the fuck? Holy shit, man. Like, you're out here wasting my pills out here, man. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. Why am I hearing that shit? Is it because of, like, going back to his spot, bro? Holy shit. Whoa. Okay, I gotta be careful here, because this is not good, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's... Uh-oh, battery's done. Almost done. Okay, yeah, let's... Okay, yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 Mr. Rabbit's coming. What the hell? Okay, yep, got it. Okay. Got him. Okay. Alright, I gotta... Oh my god. Alright, yeah, I think my flashlight's... Yeah, that's done. Oh my god, bro. Alright, got him there. Uh, Yeah, I'm scared and nervous here. And I think I have a right to. Oh shit. Yeah. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, what the fuck, man, I already had to use my thing already, like, holy shit, man, fuck, oh, uh, yeah, that sound I did not like, oh, uh, yeah, get back over there, okay, I'm running out of pills, man, I only have one left, this is not good, whoa, 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 oh my god, okay, got that, Oh my god, what the fuck, man? <laughs> that's, that's just something else, man. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, but fuck you, like, fuck you. Oh. Oh my god, she's looking! Ugh, no, this is not good. Not good. Not fucking good. Oh, oh shit, let's... Oh shit, uh... Okay, oh, 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 okay, no, 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 I fucked up big time, if I had not fucked up there, I probably would have beaten the game, I would have beaten night three, but no, I'm stupid. Oh my fucking god! Fuck, man. Uh oh yeah let's uh get back over there buddy oh my god man i could have died again holy shit oh gotta remember this ah! 
Okay. Fuck. All right. Um. Yeah, I got killed. Yay. Uh, Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. When you try to help others, you must understand there will be consequences. Oh yeah, there will be consequences. Yeah, I got killed by you, Alex. When you get into your office, turn off the lights as fast. Yeah, I was not fast enough. Okay. Um, it's probably gonna bring me back to the main menu, right? Yeah. <sighs> wow. Um, I think I've been stressed too much, man. I think I'm gonna just. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna end it off here because. Um, that was stressful. I'm not. That was like really stressful. Having to like turn off the thing quickly, then your cursor starts moving like uh, all that stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end it off here.